My name is Barbara Swale, and the name of the show that I have here at the Dawson Creek Art Gallery is Solastalgia. It's a series of images that grew out of um, a series that I had begun many, many years ago on uh, my weekly visits to a particular river in our neighborhood, in our area. Uh, I had begun painting my photographs of, of the area. And then suddenly, about 10 years ago perhaps, uh, I noticed as we were going the sudden um, appearance of industrial installations on the land uh, that were massive and alarming. Uh, big swaths of cleared land, great um, rigs, flare stacks, spewing black soot, trucks everywhere. It was quite unnerving and it found its way into um, my own mind as I watched. This is in this case, it's the oil and gas industry that arrived suddenly, and full force. Um, later, I found a word to describe my experience. That word is solastalgia. It's a fairly new word that was coined in 2006 to describe the emotional or existential experience of change to the landscape, to the environment. And it's mostly associated with an, um, a sense of damage and destruction, a negative experience of that change. So um, it, was, it came about in a response, people's response to coal mining initially. But uh, for me, it was the same. Uh, Feeling. I recognized the experience that I was having. So I wanted to find a way to talk about that visually. I took the images that I've been uh, making for many years and I started creating collages uh, with more new images of oil and gas installations, the giant um, processing plants and other things. And, um, and then I found mountains of wooden pallets in the dump which were used to ship um, uh, it, uh, supplies into the oil and gas industries and the mount mountains they're 20 foot high and 20 30 40 feet across so I've incorporated those images as well as other images from the dumps as well as a way of just talking about um, <clears throat> excuse me these new things showing up in the landscape. Um, so yeah, my intent was to just to express my own feelings, but also to bring the emotional piece to the conversation about environmental impacts of industry and further resource development and extraction. Because I think that qualitative part of the story is often overlooked or ignored in the conversation around environmental impacts. And I think it's just as important. It makes me think of what it must have been like for indigenous peoples a hundred years or more ago when uh, settlers began arriving in our region. And the same thing would have been happening uh, where their landscape, their familiar home, was being altered irrevocably, profoundly, suddenly, and without consideration or consultation, which is pretty much how it happened for us here in this agricultural and rural area when the oil and gas industry arrived. So it's a conversation, I think, that uh, needs to be had, and, and uh, I hope that's what my work causes or creates.